welcome to another epi of Quack Tuts. In today's epi, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a uh, bass that sounds similar to the one that uh, Virtual Riot uses in his song Carrier. It's the first bass that hits right after that uh, pretty epic intro. I'll let you hear what it sounds like. It's pretty similar, it's not exact, but you know, it's a good starting point. So, uh, made it in Serum. Open that shit up. Initialize the patch. Boom, boom. Alright. Oscillator A. What the fuck is that? Digital. Antistasis. I don't know why it came up like that, but... Alright, yeah, that's what it was. Uh, Unison's at 2. Detune's at 0 .09. Blend's at 75. Phase right in the middle. Random all the way up. Wave table position's at uh, 15. Uh, we're not using the warp, so that's all the way off. Pans right in the middle. Level all the way up. Oscillator B, Monster 5 wavetable. Unison's at 1, detune right in the... Or yeah, that doesn't matter. Uh, random, all the way up. Uh, wavetable position, 137. Warp is uh, Ben Minus, and that's at 52%. <coughs> Bend right in the middle, level at 56%. Okay. Turn the filter on. Oscillator A and B are both going through the filter. Uh, it's a high, high pass, 12. Cut off at... 18 hertz, resonance 42%, uh, drive 10%, frequency 96%, and the mix is all the way up at 100%. Okay, where are we at here? Go to your sub oscillator, make sure that's direct out, nice sine wave, uh, octave, uh, just leave it on zero, level all the way up. Noise oscillator, atmosphere 7, uh, phase 31%, random 31%. Pitch 60% and pan right in the middle and level 23%. And those are not going through the filters, so make sure these are both not clicked. Okay. So uh, the envelopes are doing pretty much all of the modulation. So go to envelope 2, bring your attack to 381 milliseconds, decay at 1.59 seconds, sustain all the way down, release 15 milliseconds. Okay. Envelope 3. 371 milliseconds for the attack, holds all the way down, decay at uh, 1.14 seconds, and uh, sustain 23.75%, release 15 milliseconds. <clears throat> Shut up! Okay, envelope 2. Uh, we're going to be dragging this to uh, the pitch on the uh, noise oscillator, and drag that to negative 5. Bring it to the wavetable position, oscillator A, and drag it up to 49. Bring it to the wavetable position, oscillator B, drag it up to 42. Bring it to the warp, and drag it up to 21. Then you got to bring envelope 2 to the filter, bring it to the cutoff, drag it up to 59. Bring it to the frequency, and drag it down to negative 41. Okay, yeah. I think that's it for this section. What is this doing? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, this is kind of important. All right, LFL 1, uh, the rates is bringing it all the way down, and then uh, make sure dotted node is on, trigger, turn that on, and then leave the rest all the way at zero. Okay, FX section. Hyper dimension, uh, mix 50%, unison's at 4, leave everything else how it is. Distortion, turn that on, we're going to be using tube distortion this time. Bring your drive to 67% and your mix 82%. Phaser, <clears throat> sunk to the BPM. Depth is at 50%. Frequency is at 200 hertz. Feedback uh, 80%. Phase 180. Your mix 37%. Okie dokie then. Filter, uh, bandpass filter. Boom, boom. Cutoffs at 126 hertz. Resonance 32%. Drive all the way down, frequency all the way down, and you mix 61%. Compressor, multiband compressor, and just bring the gain up 7.7 dB. Alrighty then. Hold on there, hold the phone there. Forgot something. The envelope 3 is going to do the cutoff of the filter in the FX section. Just drag that right there and bring it up 38. Okay, thank you. Alright, so, uh, and then bring macro 1 to the rate of the LFO and drag it all the way up. And then LFO 1, 
you can't drag this. This is going to the amp, so you have to go to the matrix section, and then it's uh, right here. So source LFO one, that's going uh, global to the amp, and drag it down minus fifty five. Okie dokie then. So without the post processing, you should have something. Uh, you should have this. <laughs> Minus the pitch bending, of course. Uh, I forgot about that. Down here, bring it up one octave, and then bring it down uh, two semitones. Okay. Okay, so now let's go over the uh, post-processing. We got some EQ modulation going on right there, and then uh, some pitch bending modulation, and then we also automated the macro one, which is going to the LFO. So, first thing we'll do is the pitch modulation. Open up the piano roll, whatever doll you're using. And it's alright, so just make it look like this. Starts at zero, goes all the way up, comes back down, minus 36, and ends right back at zero again. So you just bring it up a full octave and then just bring it down a tiny bit, and then it's returning back to zero. So, yeah, just make it look like that. Alright, then let's get to. I guess we'll do the macro one first, because that's simpler. So, that's starting at 68%, and then it's going down to 64% right around here, and then it's going down to 53%. I mean, I don't know how to explain this like exactly, just, you know, make it look like that. I guess that's the best way to explain it. But uh, this, I'll have to go more in-depth with. So then we have the EQ modulation. Just emphasizing the vowels and the, uh, you know, growlish bass, just giving it more movement. So uh, you're going to want to set up two peaks, uh, two bell curves with a high Q. Uh, number one is going to be nine point up 9.85 dB, Q slope of 2.8. Doesn't matter where you place these in the frequency spectrum because they're going to be automated. So at first, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you have the gain and the Q right. So then, P2, uh, it's up 9.65 dB with a Q of 4.4. Okie dokie then. Open up the automation. This is uh, band 2. Alright, so this is the first peak right here. It's going to start at 2,339 hertz. And go down to 78 hertz. And then it's going to go back up to 2924 and then back down to 340 hertz. So just uh, use these, you know, the play headers uh, up here to kind of line them up. All right, so the second peak starting at 167 hertz, going up uh, 1,000, going up to 1,700 or 17,560 hertz. Sorry about that. I can't read apparently. Um, make sure. Uh, the, it's pretty much doing the exact opposite movement of the other one. So just line up the dots right here. You know, boom, boom, boom. And then you should have it exact. But, uh, so yeah, that's gone up to 17,560. Back down to 195 hertz. And back up 2,387. And that's it. <laughs> So, uh, thank you for watching. This up be a Quack Tuts. Yeah, more Tuts on the way. If you have any specific sounds you'd like me to do or, like, anything else, um, anything else we want me to do a tutorial on, let me know in the comments. Subscribe. Follow me on Facebook for updates on shit and shit like that. Thank you. Oh, and SoundCloud, too. Yeah, hit me up on there. Thank you.